Well, hello, and welcome to Munson Made This. My name is Michael, I cook vegan food. So if you want more vegan content, more vegan recipes, you should definitely click that subscribe button below, and also the bell notification so that you're notified when my new videos do come out. And if you want, give this video a thumbs up while you're down there, that way it lets YouTube know that other people should watch this video as well. The last video I put out was an ultimate vegan chicken, chicken nugget taste test video. Me and Ben sat down, we tried nine different kinds, so you should definitely watch that video before you watch this one. But I found myself with nine bags of frozen vegan nuggets that I needed to do something with, so hey, why not make more content out of it? So what you're gonna see here is a series of me trying out various recipes using these nuggets. I make a fried chicken benedict, a buffalo chicken wrap, a crispy teriyaki sushi roll, and oh yeah, chicken parmesan sandwich. All of them are amazing, so the video is really casual, really relaxed. I'll have timestamps below if you want to jump from one to the next or just watch them all the way through. Uh, that's it for me here. Uh, enjoy this video. If you like this style of video, this kind of content, please comment below that you enjoy it. Uh, and before I get into those, thank you again for all of you who have joined the channel and supported me. Uh, if you do want to join the channel as well or give this video some applause, uh, those buttons are below as well. All right, let's get cooking. Well, the first uh, recipe that I want to test out for you is going to be for a fried chicken Benedict. I'm using, I believe, Morningstar chicken nuggets that I just threw in the air fryer behind me. Um, I just reached in the freezer, grabbed some that I remembered liking and threw them in the air fryer. So I have six uh, nuggets in the air fryer um, on the stove here, which I'll show you in just a second. Well, let me actually move the camera and I'll show you it and talk about it at the same time. Makes more sense, right? Yeah. Here is a dirty plate that I use to try out my vegan egg. That is the vegan egg yolk from Hot For Food. I'll have the link below. This is my chickpea flour egg, which looks more like a pancake, but it's an egg. There's the English muffin that I'll be using to make this Benedict. Some cornstarch, which I needed to thicken up my gravy because the flour butter mixture didn't seem to thicken it up. And then this is what the gravy looks like. It's made with almond milk and I seasoned it with the no chicken flavor of Better Than Bouillon and it tastes just like chicken gravy. So my plan with those ingredients that are super messy all over my counter, uh, I'm going to toast the English muffin, I'm going to top it with the chicken pieces, I'm going to then put a little hole inside, maybe I should do the, scratch that, English muffin on the bottom, my chickpea egg on top, I'm going to spoon out just like a little circle, I'm going to pour the hot for food egg yolk in there, which, just google hot for food egg yolk and it'll come up, it's so good, I don't use black salt in it though. The recipe calls for black salt, I don't like black salt. So English muffin, chickpea egg, little bit spooned out so I can put the yolk in, fried chicken pieces on top, and then gravy over the top of that, and lots of black pepper, and I think it's going to be amazing, and I'm actually really hungry, over-caffeinated, underfed, um, so I'm ready to assemble this. I'm gonna move my camera so you can get a wider shot, and then I'll assemble it all for you. Hopefully it works, it's gonna work. Right. Not the prettiest thing, but I think they're gonna be good. So these are my uh, chickpea eggs with the center taken out. Egg yolk, again, just Google hot for food. Yolk, I think she uses it in a breakfast trifle. Tastes so good. It's made with tomatoes. Pretty wholesome other than the vegan butter in it. Topping these with my nuggets. Add my chicken gravy, which is a little bit lumpy. And this is just two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of oil, cup and a half of almond milk, and then maybe about two teaspoons of no chicken better than bouillon. A little black pepper. And I think it needs just a pinch of paprika as well. All right, so there is my fried chicken Benedict made with chickpea egg and Morningstar Farms chicken nuggets. It honestly looks amazing. Uh, behind me, the kitchen is a disaster. But that looks incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste. Mm. 
touch on the salty side, but so good. I think I would have preferred a tofu egg. I could have done like a tofu scramble or even just have like taken a slice of tofu. I'm gonna finish this, eventually clean the kitchen. Um, I have at least three other ideas that I want to share with you. Same style, kind of throwing it together. Hopefully it works. Um, I've cooked some rice. Um, so the next two I think will be using rice. Um, my goal here is just to get through all of these chicken nuggets because I had nine bags of nuggets. All right, so that's it for this one. I'll see you when I'm ready to cook again. It's only been like about two hours since I ate my fried chicken Benedict, which was so good. Um, but Ben is hungry and I'm gonna make him the thing that I made him actually last night that I made us kind of both last night. Uh, it's a buffalo chicken wrap, but I'm using these flatbread things. I don't know, I buy these Greek pita. I buy them at uh, Albertsons all of the time. They're really good, it even says on the package that they're vegan. So I already have nuggets for him in the air fryer. He's having the alpha ones. Those are one of our top picks when we did the taste test yesterday, which I'm not sure how far between when you watch this and when, or when you watch that one and when this one comes out. So, um, but it was one of our tops. And so that's the one we're gonna be using. When I made this yesterday, I actually used the Morning Star popcorn chicken and that worked really well. I made a teriyaki version. So, um, I'll show you how I make this here in just a minute, but just picture like instead of buffalo sauce, I use teriyaki sauce instead, and it came out great. Um, additionally, it's gonna have ranch dressing on it, and that's the ranch dressing from my, um, this leftover ranch dressing from my wedge salad video. So I'm gonna show you once I get everything all set up, um, what all is gonna be going into this, and then I'll assemble it, and um, maybe Ben will even let you know how good it is, but it is really. So the nuggets are in the air fryer over there. They're gonna be tossed in with this, say hi to my reflection. Uh, this is equal parts Frank's Red Hot and vegan butter. Then this flatbread is gonna to be toasted on that grill pan there. Um, I will put lettuce, red onion, and ranch. Yesterday I actually had pickles but unfortunately we're out of those. I was just thinking about it. Hopefully the sound of the air fryer over here isn't too loud. Um, but I have a video on my channel. It's an old one. I believe it's the vegan versus plant-based sandwich challenge where I used like vegan processed ingredients uh, to make a teriyaki chicken sandwich. And then I used one with more like plant-based ingredients. Um, I forgot honestly what my plant-based ingredient was. That's terrible. Uh, you should watch the video though, it's good. <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make here is that the sandwiches in that video are inspired by a restaurant called Ike's, um, which they're in Southern slash Northern California. And we have one here in Vegas also. Um, they have a huge sandwich menu and then they basically have vegan versions of all of their other sandwiches. And the sandwich that I like there is something owl. Wow, this is a really great story, isn't it? Um, but it's a teriyaki chicken sandwich and it has a wasabi mayo. It's so good. They use the Gardein chicken, uh, the Gardein orange chicken, I think it is. And they just use the little like nuggets that are in there. Um, you can easily make that same recipe that you see in that video. I'll link it somewhere also. Um, but you could use the that recipe and use these nuggets instead. That would be so good. It's just like teriyaki chicken, wasabi mayo, lettuce, probably tomato. It's really good. I was just thinking about it. I was waiting for these nuggets to cook. So that's all. The nuggets are done. And just so that they fit a little bit better in the wrap, I'm just going to cut these in half before tossing them in the sauce.
just as I was drizzling ranch dressing, the battery died. So let's resume. Alpha nuggets, homemade ranch dressing, lettuce, onion, and again, there should be pickles on it, but we ran out last night, so we don't have any. Uh, I'm gonna take a few photos of these and then hand it off to Ben and maybe he'll give you a little taste test. A smart cook will always save a little bit for themselves. Ben has agreed to a taste test. I have, it looks good. What exactly are you calling it? Buffalo chicken wrap. Buffalo chicken wrap. <laughs> I mean, it's not fully wrapped because as you see here, as he's about to like eat it, it doesn't really wrap, it just more folds. Ooh, look at that. It's like, like thick and like gordita like. It is the same like gordita, I think. Or is that what they're the called? I think the same thing as they use at Taco Bell for chalupas, but not fried. So it's different chicken. Yesterday you had the popcorn chicken. This is that alpha chicken. I'll step out so it can focus on your face. <laughs> Better than yesterday? This is delicious. Is it better than the popcorn ones? Yesterday we had popcorn chicken. Today I think I like popcorn. yeah. I think I like this better. Good. I feel like the chicken. It's really like good. And yesterday I had buffalo. This is different. No, this is buffalo. Oh, I, don't, I just didn't see the sauce. I got ranch in that first bite, so. Mm. So ten out of ten would recommend. Yeah, but Gok, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're free to go. It's the next day and I'm ready to make more vegan nugget recipes. So yesterday I made the buffalo chicken wrap for Ben. I don't know, I'm recapping this because you just saw it like one second ago. Today though, um, the first thing I wanna make is a sushi. I wanna make like a crispy chicken teriyaki sushi. So I've already got some of the I don't even know what kind they are. Gardein. Uh, I have some of the Gardein nuggets in, the, the nuggets, not the tenders. So some of the Gardein nuggets are in my air fryer right now and I've got a bunch of ingredients laid out. So I'm gonna show you those, talk about my plan and then start making something to eat. All right, what I have here is some rice that I made yesterday in my rice cooker. It's just been hanging out. I'm going to toss it with some seasoned rice wine vinegar. This is my snack. Anyone else eat the center first? Like the best part of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is also the best part of the watermelon. Anyway, um, homemade teriyaki sauce. I'm gonna be making a sriracha mayo with vegan mayo, sriracha, and some sweet chili sauce. I also have some avocado here. Uh, I think I already mentioned the homemade teriyaki sauce and some red onion just because. The nuggets are just about done. Like, in fact, I probably should be over there turning it off right now. Um, so I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna cut them in half, assemble a little station here. Oh, I forgot I have nori that I have to take out. Um, I might even take out some of the soy paper wraps that I have, because Ben doesn't really like nori and I'd like him to eat one of these. Um, so let me get those all ready. I'll get my whole setup set up and then I will make them and then I will eat them. Uh, we have a bamboo mat. We have nori somewhere. Just kidding, it's not a bamboo mat, it's a plastic mat. Um, we're gonna do this instead of flipping it over, we're gonna do it this side out. Rice side in, I guess. Not inside out, rice side in. All right, let's add the chicken. The avocado. A little bit of sriracha mayo. A little teriyaki sauce. Ooh, let's do some sesame seeds.
This is the soy paper version. This is the nori version. They both look pretty good. Admittedly, I would like to have more in them. I think with just the avocado and the chicken nuggets, it's just a little bit light. It could use a little bit more crunch. Definitely cucumber. Um, any other veggies, even some like green or like pea shoots or some sort of like sprout would be really nice in here. Um, also, if I had some wasabi on the side or something, but I think that the teriyaki sauce, which is from my um, teriyaki chicken bowl salad, it's my homemade, I think I call it Munson's Famous teriyaki sauce. Um, and then my um, sriracha mayo is just like, say a half cup of mayo to like a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of sriracha, excuse me, and another uh, one or two tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. The reason I use the sweet chili sauce is because a lot of times, like at Japanese restaurants, they use QP mayo, which is Japanese mayonnaise, and it's a little bit sweeter. So I think that the sweet chili sauce added to it, which doesn't add much heat at all, um, it just adds a bit of sweetness to it, and I think it makes it a little bit more what I'm used to from sushi restaurants. I'm gonna eat these. Uh, well, I'll probably give Ben the one. Well, I'll see if he wants it. He might not even want it. Um, I'll eat these and then um, I have some rice left. So I was thinking of maybe doing like a teriyaki chicken bowl later. Um, I have some other ideas, maybe um, like chicken Parmesan direction. So I've got some other ideas I'm playing with. So I'll see you when I'm ready to eat again. Well, it's only been a second since you saw me last, but in reality, it's been two days since I filmed the last clip. Uh, so I'm here right now to give you the last of these recipe ideas. I do have a ton more, but I think you'll just have to follow me on Instagram because I'll post them as I continue to make them. And I just wanted to get this video out. So cutting it off at four. This one, I had mentioned it in a previous clip was that I'm gonna be making a chicken Parmesan sandwich with my nuggets. Um, I've got some things already prepared and ready to go. So let me show you those. Um, first thing I have is a hot dog bun. Yes, I'm using a hot dog bun for this. There's a number of reasons. One of them is it's pretty much the only bun-like thing that I have to use. But also, I kind of like the size. It's gonna perfectly hold three nuggets. And it's just kind of like a, a mini hoagie sandwich. So I like that about it. What I've done here is I've already put a little bit of vegan mayo on it and some uh, garlic powder. So it's kind of like garlic bread bun right now. Uh, I've also already cooked, these are Morningstar, um, so I've cooked three nuggets in the air fryer. I've also made a tomato sauce. I pretty much just took this, which I found at Target and thought it looked good, so I wanted to try it. It's a hot tomato sauce. You could obviously use any tomato sauce, any sort of jarred sauce. Um, I put it into this jar, I have added some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, and uh, just microwaved it for about a minute or so. And so now I have my sauce for on top. Um, I also have two different kinds of cheeses. Um, I have a follow your heart parm and I have a follow your heart mozzarella. So my plan here is just to put the air fried nuggets down onto the bun, cover it with sauce, put on the cheese, microwave it for like 20, 30 seconds to try to melt things down a little bit. And then I have an easy chicken Parmesan sandwich. happy with the way that this looks. I mean, can't be mad at that. Cheese, of course, doesn't melt, but that's pretty much what vegan cheese uh, is, but I think it's gonna taste great. Um, before I take a bite of this, though, I'm just gonna say goodbye for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, apologize for any crazy camera angles or weird things. It's I'm trying to do both filming and cooking and playing in the kitchen at the same time, and it's just not something I'm used to. So uh, if you do like videos like this, then uh, definitely comment below. I'll, I'll keep working, try to try to do a little bit better. Uh, again, if you want more of these recipes, follow me on Instagram at Munson Made This because I'll be posting a lot more because I still have quite a few nuggets still left to eat. So thank you all the subscribers that have joined my channel and supported my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know what else to say other than I'm excited to dig into this. So uh, have a great time. I'll see you next week with another recipe video. Actually, I've been doing two a week, so 
Anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye. This sauce is really good. Spicy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make another one of these. All right, now I'm really saying goodbye. Bye. Go, I'm trying to eat.